Hello and welcome to another video of this Powered BI Do It Yourself tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about interactive visualizations. How to make visualizations interactive. So, use the same page which you have created in the previous video, which is DIY video number 4. Click on the slicer and add sales date. So let's see what's a slicer. Slicer, as the name suggests, would slice the data. That means it will apply filters to the data elements or the charts or visualizations. So let's select sales date. And you can see that because it's a date, a slider is added. If I move the slider, whole visualizations are changed. Now we don't want the date per se for the filters but I would like to have years. So on the properties of the slicer click on the down arrow to select year from the date hierarchy. Let's see that. So here select I clicked on this arrow and clicked on the date hierarchy and you can see year is getting selected here. Now from the year on this piece I can click on list all drop down. By default it's drop down the values here but I'm gonna click on here and change list. So it shows me all the years. Now you can select a particular year and the data in all of the visualizations will be filtered for that year. So click on 2012, 13, 14 or 15. You would see the entire data set is or the entire set of visualizations here. Every visualization is changing. Interestingly, it won't let me click on multiple years at once. So let's change that property. Change the properties of the slicer to allow multiple selections of the year. We're going to see how. So click on this slicer. Go to this format. And go to selection controls. And you can say single select off and now you can select multiple years. I would need an all selection here as well so I just need to turn this on and there's a select all. If I say select all it's like an Excel select all where you can select multiple values or unselect few values. Now what I want to do is, I want to make the selections here, but I do not want my this visualization to change at all. So it should always remain this value, no changes. However, I can, I can select anything and all of these three visualizations should change except for this. In order to do that, Use the edit interactions options in the format menu to change on how the visualizations can interact. So go to format menu on the top and you would see edit interactions. When you click on this and it's a toggle button, if you click on this, these are values or these are the icons appearing. If I unselect it, select it. Now, Keep selecting this and click on none. So the highlighted one or the blackened out one is something which is active now. Click on none. Now what will happen is irrespective of what you select, everything would change except this. For this chart, what I want is, and even this is interactive, So for this chart, what I want is 
this should filter and not just select so this is just the selection highlighting but I want it to filter so I want this to be filtered by this chart but not this so click select here and say filter so now you can see that it's not highlighted and it's selected let's show you again this is highlighting that means if I am selecting post just the post component are highlighted however when I select filter that means this is filtering you can see how interesting and flexible those interactions can be so change various visualizations property to highlight or filter elements this is what we have done so do the following hands-on exercises so this is a good time for you to pause and think what we have discussed in these steps and get ready for hands-on exercises. Hands-on exercise number eight, use the page created in DIY5, click on the slicer and add customer country. Now we are not adding year, we are gonna add customer country. Then select a particular country and the data in all visualizations would will be filtered change the properties of the slicer and use edit interactions to highlight or filter elements based on what you feel looks good exercise number nine hands-on DIY exercise number nine use the page pages created in DIY six and seven click on the slicer to add channel type and then a new slicer to add department so now instead of one slicer you're gonna add two of them one is channel type other is department and then you would make the same changes to have multiple selection options and also change the interact visualizations thank you for watching